Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Alhamdulillah, we're joined by Mufti Saif al Islam Saab, the person who was the inspiration behind opening the Bradford Community Kitchen. Uh, so, if Mufti Saab, um, can you just explain to us what made you want to do this project? Alhamdulillah, from my childhood, I had this uh, aspiration of helping people, whether Muslims or non Muslims. And Alhamdulillah, our Deen, our religion, Islam teaches us that we should always take care of our neighbors. And obviously, being in Bradford and uh, seeing our brothers and sisters and seeing our non Muslim uh, brothers and sisters as well, uh, that what's happening to humanity at large and visiting different parts of the world, that poverty and people who are going through all these difficulties, uh, we need uh, to help them. And uh, obviously I want to promote that uh, individually myself and also uh, encourage my brothers and sisters and Muslim and non-Muslim uh, to help out those people who are in need. And this is what our beautiful religion Islam teaches us, that a person should not uh, just think about themselves, you do not be selfish, you have to be a selfless person, always thinking about the neighbors, think about people who are around us, who are less uh, privileged than yourself. So this is a beautiful teachings of Islam which really prompted me to start this uh, program off. And I had this in my mind for a good number of years. And Alhamdulillah, uh, Alhamdulillah subhanahu wa ta'ala made it materialize uh, this year. Uh, and we started this off last few weeks ago. And Alhamdulillah, I've just come back from Umrah and I was delighted that I could take this Sunday out. Usually I have programs on weekends, so this was my first Sunday that I was in Bradford. So Alhamdulillah, I was so happy and uh, impressed to see our colleagues, our graduates, our students, mashallah, helping out, giving their pre precious time, and especially Sundays when many of us were busy at home, we don't want to get out. But mashallah, our youngsters, mashallah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them, bless them, and give them steadfastness in doing this work. And it really is soothing to my heart that, alhamdulillah, even in this day and age, we have brothers and sisters who want to help. And after the message went forward, alhamdulillah, I had uh, calls and I had messages from all around the world uh, complimenting our work and uh, encouraging us and they all, mashallah, wanting to know how they can also help as well. So inshallah ta'ala, if we all work together, like the Quran says, that we should help each other open piety and taqwa. So inshallah ta'ala, uh, all our brothers and sisters should come forward and try to help. And we, inshallah ta'ala, now it's local, we want to make it national, we want to make it international, that we can help all those people who are less privileged than us, whether Muslims or non-Muslims, we need to help humanity. In the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, every living object, by feeding them, by helping them, this is the reward of sadqa. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our uh, humble efforts, May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept our brothers and sisters who have participated and contributed and who will contribute in the future. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless everyone, keep everyone steadfast and give us uh, death upon Iman. This is my dua for all our brothers and sisters. Jazakallah khair, ahsan jazak. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Jazakallah khair. Afshu salam, atwa'imu ta'am, spread peace, feed the hungry in every single land. Help us to help them. Donate on our GoFundMe page. Find the link in the description. Thanks for watching.